The Chilean devil ray, or sickle fin ray, can have a wingspan of up to 12 feet and is found around the world in warm waters, often basking at the surface. It's one of the most elusive and least studied mobula rays. They spend most of their lives alone, traveling vast distances across the open ocean. That nomadic lifestyle is what makes them so hard to study. There are several mysteries about them that scientists are still working to solve. We got a first-hand look at some of this detective work during our research expedition in the Azores. First up, Chilean devil rays are power divers. Contrary to the popular image of rays slowly gliding through sunlit waters, they don't just chill at the surface, they can dive super deep. They're amongst the deepest diving sharks or rays in the planet. This is George Fonch. He was part of the team of scientists who made this deep diving discovery. They can dive to almost 2,000 meters depth, which is quite amazing because if you're talking about freezing temperatures, tremendous pressure of about 200 kilos per square centimeter. To put that in perspective, that's like the weight of a grand piano concentrated on an area the size of a postage stamp. It's 200 times the pressure at sea level. Scientists only made this discovery 10 years ago, and they're still trying to figure out why the rays make these epic dives. There are multiple hypotheses to understand why they go down this deep, because it must have a physiological, energetic cost, so it must be something worth it. It probably has something to do with food. There's a massive layer of marine life hiding in these depths. Trillions of fish, squid, and gelatinous sea creatures. But there are plenty more questions to answer, like what exactly the rays are feeding on and how they do it. How do they deal with extremely cold temperatures at depth? How do they deal with low oxygen that is decreasing as they dive deeper and deeper? These tags are key to answering some of these questions. They combine sensors with cameras. If you're curious about the unique design, it's to solve a slippery issue. In order to do direct observation, to see what they're actually feeding on, well, ideally you need cameras. The problem is, because these animals have this thick layer of mucus, the classic approach, which has been to deploy tags and cameras with suction cups, doesn't really work because they fall off. And so we were fortunate enough to have the simple idea of just using this harness thing. It just stays on. They're actually floating as a little submarine or a little pilot fish that is following the animal. They can be programmed to release after just a couple of hours or a couple of weeks. Summer is the perfect time to deploy the tags when the Chilean devil rays arrive in the Azores to gather at a few specific seamounts or underwater mountains. This is one of the only places on Earth where they gather like this. This annual gathering is another big mystery. It's quite impressive because these animals tend to be solitary most of their lives. And it's interesting to see that we only find adult animals here, both males and females, so maybe a chance for different animals that usually don't meet, get together, they meet, they can evaluate each other, they can pick their partners. We also see some behavior that suggests that there may be courtship behavior happening. So we see often males, trains of males, chasing or following the females. But there's still more to study. Scientists haven't observed the rays mating, and while they've seen pregnant females here, they haven't found any juveniles. While these seamount habitats are tiny compared to the vast open ocean, they're enormously important for the rays who come here to socialize, meet mates, or forage. The information we learn here can be used to conserve these habitats and protect the graceful ocean nomads who depend on them.